Good day, everyone. Hope you have a lovely day. So, with me here, we have a laptop. This laptop is coming from another computer repair shop. It's Lenovo. Uh, this is Lenovo IG33 series. You remember the one which you fixed the last time, and that was a BIOS issue. I think this one fall under that category. So, this is coming from another computer repair shop, and what this, the, they are saying, they are saying this laptop is working fine, it's not charging. Huh? They tried two, three new chargers, not the same. So let's connect back the battery. Let's connect it back the battery. Well, they disconnect the, the battery. The, um, here, the, 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 the drive is missing, and I believe this is the solid state drive. But let's try to power on this laptop. On? Yeah, it's coming on. It's coming on. Uh, you can see Lenovo. Uh, here we have the power supply. Uh, Let's call 3.6 amps, 19.9 volts. Huh? I want to plug in the power supply. Plug in the power supply. You can see the laptop is on. Plug in the power supply here. We have orange charging light. But check the current. Huh? Just to check the current there. It's taking like 10 million still by current. The laptop is on because here the battery is too has some power. So yeah, that's the paper which they left for the password. Uh, 6i9 I N E enter. What am I doing wrong? 6i9 6i x9 i n e so even if you live for some days months whatever the time this laptop is not going to charge huh we have the or the orange charging light but if i check on the power supply that is the reason why I always emphasize people to buy power supply. Because with the power supply, you can see what is being, what's going on with the current. With the charger, you can't really see. Huh? So check here. We have the orange charger, but it's taking, um, it's taking like 10 milliamps. So what do you think is the problem? You know what? Let's do a quick trick here. Let's do a quick trick. What I do, the laptop is still on, as you can see. I want to disconnect the battery. Why I'm disconnecting the battery, we want to see if the input MOSFET, they are passing the 19 volts to the motherboard. So I'll disconnect the battery here. And the power supply is plugged. So I have to disconnect the battery. Disconnecting the battery, the laptop goes off. So let's go straight to the problem. Huh? Let's go to the problem. Microscope. No time to waste. Let's practice efficiency. Here we have the input MOSFETs. We have the charging port. Uh, and the track is coming here to this inductor. This is the big MOSFET. The second MOSFET, a small one, and the current sensor, current resistor. You see that white thing? So, what do you think is the problem? Huh? I think by now you know what is the problem. I don't want to test. I don't want to test, but what I would do, uh, 4377, and this one, 3319, these are channel P MOSFETs. 
I'm sure this must be our problem. I don't want to test. Let's work with experience now. No time to test. Let's work with experience. Don't think I have checked this. No, I didn't check anything. But based on experience, I know this second MOSFET is my issue. Out. Replacement. Replacement. Only if you can get one. Yeah, this one must be fine. Let's sort this MOSFET. Good. So let's see. Let's see. Pulling this board. Let's cool the motherboard. Let's connect back the battery. Uh, let's plug the power supply. We still have orange light and now taking 800. Now it's a different story. Uh, pressing the power on. Button is taking 1.1 M. Um, 1.2 Now 1.4 It's now it's taking 1. Point. Now it's taking around 1.1 1. 1.2 1. 1. 1.3 and the current is rising yeah, we have sixteen percent. So this is the the quick way to diagonalize a fault based on experience. So let's just give few minutes and then we we we'll test if the battery voltage percentage is increasing. So let's check now. Let's check now. Now, before it was 16%, now, we now have 22%. You can see, 1 hour 45 minutes until it's fully charged. So, our laptop is now working fine. Huh? This comes 
after we have fixed so many more of this similar laptop with the same kind of problem. Huh? So that is the reason why I did not even test, I just go straight to the problem. Even if I check out the, the battery now, the laptop must be still on because the 19 volts. What? It must come on. Yes. The battery is disconnected. And the laptop is coming on. Huh? It's coming on with the battery disconnected. That means the, the, the 19 volts power line is now present. Maybe the charging port is doing some funny things. But the laptop has to come on with no, without any problem. So let me plug back here the battery. Uh, so yeah, that was the repair. Uh, what I would say, what I would say, what I would say. What I will say, like, subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. Also, if you really enjoy our content, um, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any great content coming in the future. See you on the next one. Bye.